Now we are going to color a leaf. Uh, I chose three colors from the Derlant Light Fast color pencils, but really you can choose any color pencils as long as you choose a lighter green, a green, um, and a darker green. So I chose the grass green 70%, vivid green, and the mountain green. And I'll use the grass green 70% as a light green color to start with. And when we color a leaf, we need to observe this leaf and uh, circle out a highlighted area from the leaf that we will leave blank because the surface of the leaf is uh, uh, very smooth. Most of the leaves um, have a glossy feel to it, so when it reflects the light, it looks so white. That's why we leave it blank. And then this leaf moves like this. When you watch the movement for the leaf, you follow uh, mainly this part, this line. This line in indicates uh, how the leaf is positioned. So our highlighted area will be next to this line. I mean, almost parallel to this uh, line. So we'll cover this leaf with this uh, grass green 70%. Now we move on to the vivid green. And uh, for these lines, there is a tiny fold. So when there is a fold, that's when um, it creates a, a slight shadow. So we'll just go gently over this line. And when this part has a tiny fold, it also the color is a little bit darker. So now for this stem part, and we're gonna create a fold. So we'll cover this line first. And um, for this uh, side, we will color right next to the line. And for this side, we'll leave a little bit of a space. This way, how we manipulate the shadow area like here, it's uh, like a, the, there's a little fold. The highlight area is uh, you know popping out a little bit, and this is go deep, go deeper. So that's how we create the fold in the middle of the leaf.
And now we move on to our darkest green, and uh, it's mountain green. And um, we will emphasize the shadows. I'm using gentle pressure here because uh, these are small space and I don't want to make mistakes. And now I'll go over to emphasize the fold and uh, to create a little bit more shadow between each fold. You can see this little part right where this part is a little bit lighter lighter this part is a little bit darker that's because this uh, this leaf you see is covered by the it's, it's covering the strawberry behind and because it has a strawberry on top of the strawberry so the shape of the strawberry is uh, in uh, inter is uh, affecting how the the shape of the leaf so the fold I created here kind of echoes uh, the shape of the strawberry behind it. And uh, whenever there is a change of a form, there is always the change of light and shadow. All right, we finished the leaves, and uh, now it's uh, the it's mainly done. And if you want to make it a little bit more interesting, you can add some more some interesting color to it. For example, um, if I want some uh, uh, like a warm light on the leaf like the sun shining on the leaf, I will add a little bit of a hint of a yellow on the highlighted area. I mean, yellow always uh, remind you of something warm, bright, uh, the light, so. And if you say, oh no, my strawberry leaf is uh, turning brown, so that's fine. We'll add a hint of brown to the leaves. Oh, this leaf is getting old. It's withering. That's our brown strawberry leaf.